what is going on boys and girls of youtube today we're doing a little coaching arachne gameplay on pc actually not console it's been a while since i've actually uh done pc coaching i'm pretty sure so anyway we're gonna get into this hit the subscribe button because you're coming back hit the like button because you guys ask for these videos all the time plus i know you like the content so take five seconds hit the little like button makes me happy it's easy peasy do it if you haven't done it i'm gonna wait I'm waiting, I'm waiting, subscribe, hit the like button. Any any time just click it. Click 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 it. Click, okay. Okay, now that you've either decided to be an asshole and not click it, or you've clicked it, we can start this coaching video. I don't know if there's uh comms in this or not, so I gotta find out if we're gonna be muting or turning anything down. I honestly do not know. Uh we got a normal Arachne start. My man's using some emotes. Team comp, Arachne jungle, Neath ADC, Zhang, ooh. Zhang Kui solo, Merlin mid, Kepri support. Actually, kind of a rough comp for an Arachne to play into, to be honest. Like a really difficult comp for an Arachne to play into. You have very little front line. Once your Zhang Kui rotates into the fights, you're okay. But like early game 3v3s and stuff, you are pretty much trying to avoid them and just looking for jungle engagements where you, you have one-on-ones, two-on-twos at the most. They have a, a pretty solid mid to late game comp as well, so it's difficult for you. Uh, starting your spiders right, technically. So here's one thing. Um, <laughs> there's a thing with spiders. When you're starting them, I have explained this a million times. So if you go look at my Arachne games where I actually do spider start like this, you need to put your webs to the side of the camp. They either all need to drop on the same right creep or the same left creep. If they drop on the middle creep, they will actually die a majority of the time and not finish the whole camp, which is really, really bad. Um, also, occasionally, like one in 40 fucking times, you can get weird RNG where you don't clear it anyway. It's really strange, but it does happen. Uh, I've had it happen in an SPL game, and we went through and like re- we made it happen again and it took a long time to figure out what it is so you want to put all your spiders to the right or to the left in the exact same spot but uh hopefully you don't have any problems here because like i said it's not every time it's kind of random this is i don't i think this video might be semi not old but like not necessarily on the current patch um possibly not in the last patch either because we haven't seen any we didn't see any invading going on. We saw normal starts, which is weird. All right. So you fucked up here. We're going to, we're going to jump back. We're going to jump back. You did speed. Fantastic. I'm thinking your spiders don't kill blue. So right here, you needed to decide if you were going in or not. Um, you want to get in before the knocks, the mid laner hits level two. If the mid laner hits level two and they're not dumb, and they are one of the many mages with mobility or hunters with mobility. You are not killing them at all. So because he was playing up so far into your Merlin, which is also kind of weird. Your Merlin fucked up. He should have been able to uh, just drop his ability over the wall and do everything. So he kind of fucked up too here. But you needed to get in there faster. Um, as you notice, you did uh, finish the blue buff, but you didn't kill the entire blue camp. Like I mentioned, I did not watch this video ahead of time. If you killed the entire blue camp, you would have hit two. Uh, you are not two, which makes this gank, especially with him hitting two, pretty much impossible. Unless you get a crazy body block off. If, if he dies, it's just because... Okay, so he's bad. Uh, Did he one? Yeah, okay, he's bad. First of all, this motherfucker has meditate. Second of all... He had no clue you were behind him, even though you were taking creeps. Third of all, he went his one instead of his dash. Pointless. There's no no good player in the world does that. So you literally are only ahead now because you're playing against a bad player, which is scary because you're not even winning the game. <laughs> Your Jean Kui had to go clear the blue buff. As you could see, he ran down there and uh, snagged it and finished it off, which is just it's the core point of the start is for you to hit two okay this guy's level one so this is really good for you guys uh your rotation's pretty standard the gank on mid into red buff into a gank on duo into purple buff standard shit 
not doing anything wrong outside of really only being in the situation because these players are not the best players in the world but right now that's the only coaching i got for you your start and you need to be quick you need to get to that mid lane fast or else you're wasting time granted at the same time getting the kill isn't that important what's important is invading their red and the purple and trying to put pressure on the duo lane so even if you don't get the kill on the knocks like i mentioned it wouldn't be a bad thing um but you want to put yourself in the situation where you can get a kill so just get there faster i like your aggressive pathing you don't all right so always make sure you let the creep go by it's all as a jungler you want to be um hidden as much as possible if the other team doesn't know where you are you are creating pressure all the time anytime the other team doesn't know where you are you have created pressure all right so right here i don't really know what the fuck you were doing um so you literally haven't seen him for five six seconds and you ran right past the back camps at no point ever in smites fucking history will guessing where somebody is overpassing up free farm that is their farm in the first place so you're stealing their farm ever be worth it always take the farm you're you don't play smite game for kills like as, as fun as it is and cool it is to have a fuck ton of kills that is not how you win games you win games off of objectives objectives are camps back camps buffs big objective towers all that shit go for the guaranteed absolute thing over the oh maybe this will happen type thing it looks like you're still going in the golden blade build which is fine fantastic your merlin doing your back right is kind of shitty for you he should have been doing your back lefts because if you did back lefts then you would be able to do speed to backs to blue and you wouldn't be missing out on farm so he kind of fucked you there uh that's something worth noting i don't know if that's your friend or you know him or maybe you don't you just type it always tell him take the camp away and if if he thinks he knows what he's talking about he doesn't he's a dipshit he absolutely should have gone left absolutely you've opted to go to red side which like i said i i don't mind it here because your fucking asshole mid took your back camps but if your back camps are there absolutely go back camps to blue secure the blue for your jean Kui. let your merlin solo the red buff let him keep getting farm uh leech his waves whenever you need to whenever you pass by but this is good i'm okay with you doing purple here to secure farm because you want to hit five so you're super safe uh but at the same time with your team playing hyper aggressive there's and you don't know where the jungler is oh, let me double check actually do you know where the jungler is yeah you do know where the jungler is all right so you know where the jungler is this is fine if you don't know where the jungler is here go to where your duo lane is and basically play for the purple buff uh if you play for the purple buff you guarantee stop the jungler from rotating you're there for the team fight if you need to be and you can get the purple if none of that happens uh, on top of that it looks like the nox was over here in the duo lane so so you sorry. definitely should have been in the fight anyway if there were three people there 100 percent <clears throat> let's uh see what i i just you're, you're doing things pretty standard and good so far i have no complaints uh, i will say as soon as you can get golden blade um you want to back and get it like you're doing right now you took the farm back and get it perfect just be very precise on that shit Your middle tower Enemy missing left. did you buy wards you did buy wards you have okay <laughs> did you how many health pods did you just buy all right never at any point in time as a jungler are you going to want to commit 150 gold in a fucking health pot especially when you're buying 100 gold in wards like you do right here so i jump back a little bit farther but you back here you get three health pots and two wards that's never gonna fucking happen if you think you're gonna need a health pot just grab one you're never gonna be out long enough in the jungle to pop three of them uh at any point in time you're gonna back if that's ever necessary to be completely honest plus your arachne was sustain plus you have your uh starter item your assassin's blessing getting the sustain off is easy peasy and if anything i would probably be looking at mana pots because you just went into farm mode granted you clear quickly with your golden blade but you just went into farm mode where you're going to be farming quickly you're going to be 
all over the map and you're going to be looking to poke whenever somebody runs by you in lower level games you're going to be able to do that more often people are going to be out of position people are going to take poke so you're going to throw your three you're going to run up and want them like right there you want to go on this guy you absolutely want to go on this guy never hesitate on arachne you backed off never fucking hesitate on arachne your one's not up but your ult is up he's also level four you should be paying attention to that when you come out of the base so you get a free clear here first of all um when you have golden blade and, and in this situation you have three health pots just fucking save your one because you're in a neutral area of the map where at any point someone could come by you need your one to to fight a an even fight if it's if that's who's on his level five and he's got his boots and he's not a potato it's a more even fight you're gonna need that one up so don't waste it on neutral camps use it to sustain on your own camps where you're safe so here you really didn't want to use your one but it's fine you see he's at half you see he's level four don't ever back off from his ass w key him if the fight goes bad alt out if the fight goes good like it does just keep running through their jungle and doing whatever the fuck you want remember you also have the neath global so you're kind of just chilling i would not waste my blink here i would absolutely never waste your blink there in a million fucking years it's an ool if you blink into where he is you know he's leaping away abso fucking lootly you can assume he has beads 99 percent of the time so even if you blink on him and he leaps away and you slow him he's out he's not dying there's no he's not dying he, this kid's yeah like you fucked yourself so hard so 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 hard I'm, I'm reading yeah you should not have gone in the way you went in was a problem so here i'm gonna jump back i don't want my dogs barking uh do, do, do. all right let's see your gank arena here again so right about here if you were going to blink to get in faster uh you would only do it here if he wasn't backpedaling to to make sure you have that distance in the lane to keep that him away from his tower but you notice right away he's already he was already backpedaling like trying to get out by the time you were walking in so right here you should decide all right my three is down my two is still down this blink is fucking pointless what you want to do is you want to run at him to try to bait his jump early and if he jumps then you'll slow two you'll slow three two one combo him great he's more than likely dead because he's going to axe your spiders uh if he doesn't leap he's out 90 percent of the time he he's just gonna get the fuck out there's nothing you can do and then the full commit as soon as you saw the support was horrible uh you obviously knew that you said i should you shouldn't have done that so it's fine all right you're going boots why why the fuck are you going boots for what reason on arachne you're gonna commit some multiple movement speed items yes i know the movement speed was nerfed yes it's not as good blah 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 it doesn't fucking matter it literally doesn't fucking matter at all you're you're fine just play around the golden blade you do not need boots the boots is gonna are gonna hard delay your actual team fight damage on top of your farm is fine without the boots you're gonna move around the map perfectly fine without the boots 100 percent. just go into the stone cutting get the extra power get the penetration online just commit to it plus you know you're gonna go hasten as well so you really like you know you're going three items deep that are gonna help you stick to targets you have your three just <clears throat> don't waste it please don't waste going boots if you're gonna go boots build don't go golden blade if you're gonna go boots build commit to just going a normal assassin build whether you go more ability based uh just hard hitting quick card ending or you go more auto attack based with like xc and kins uh but absolutely don't go both it's just not worth it it's it, the ramp up time on your build now is crazy fucking delayed and your game's actually pretty close so every second every minute counts you also miss out on power right now <laughs> like a decent amount of power you're just sitting on five percent movement speed and you're still getting kind of fucked you also need to pop your potions bro your potions you're sitting on three potions fucking use them anytime you're all right this is how i look at potions i have them so i won't die the only way i can guarantee a potion will make it so i don't die is if it's keeping me as close to full health as fucking possible if it keeps me at full health and i i'm i'm wasting a little bit of the health pot because it's i'm at full health and it's still ticking I don't give a fuck that's perfectly fine there's no way in hell i'm sitting on three health pots right now like you're doing and i have one health pot i've already popped it 
Like, I'm going to want to sit at full health as much as possible because good players are going to know you're low and they're going to fucking find you all the time. You're not going to free run around the jungle. You are going to die over and over and over. All right, this fight is really weird because once again, you're running around with no HP at all doing these con weird contentions. You didn't even pop your health pot while fighting. Um, so that's a big problem. You, once again, you're... you're beating these kids because they're really bad like like the things that are going well for you are because the other team's terrible like that's what it is uh i also just saw you level your two no no just max your one max your alt max your three max your two why because your three is actually going to do a lot more damage for you over that course of time anytime you get full spiders out plus for objectives way 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 better Whereas your two is just going to make you get your auto attacks in those three auto attacks in a little bit faster. Uh, no fucking value there. No. <clears throat> these little things that you still haven't popped these health bots. So you essentially wasted the goal for these health bots in my eyes. Which is really, really rough. Don't do that. Do not do that to yourself. Your life will be a lot fucking easier. <laughs> and less stressful if you're just popping these getting one health pot instead of three and popping it when you need it because you'd have been running around at full health all time i will uh i will mention the fact that you obviously are not afraid to run around the jungle at low health and i think while it, i'd rather you be less like not afraid and not just be backing all the time because that's really bad and there are a lot of people that do that you're pushing it uh just it might be because you know they're bad but you're definitely pushing it and able to push it because of their lack of skill straight up like that that's that's straight up the situation you also really need to back because you are sitting on 1800 gold in the early game. That is a fucking shit ton. So sorry. That is a lot of gold. No problem. See, so hopefully you back here. Ooh, you. Actually, you're probably good. Probably good. Never look for that fight. You know you're sitting on 2000 gold. What do you do? Bro, you're, you're sitting on too much gold. You need to back. I don't know what you're doing. Like, if these kids aren't potatoes, you're dead. Retreat. That guy's not leveling his one on Susano. That Susano's not leveling his one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That did 70 damage. That Susano's not leveling his one. You are playing against a jungler who is leveling something that isn't good. Oh my gosh. Holy fuck. You also wasted your mana knowing you were in a whole like I don't know where you were pathing because you could have passed straight out right out by mid camps instead of going across the lane. This game is not about doing greedy shit. This game is about doing the smart shit. You want attack speed boots. You don't need more attack speed. You already are good on engagements with getting a lot of attacks off. You do not need attack speed boots. You need the power early because you're not going to auto attack for 25 fucking minutes against good players. It's the same reason auto attack builds don't work on everybody. What you're doing right now is all the little shit that makes you get fucking railed by anyone who's decent at the game. All these things add up so fast because you should have, you should more likely have no kills right now. Maybe one, but more than likely no kills. And I would say at least two deaths at least on the generous side like you you're sitting on your normal two deaths but like at the very least you would have the same two deaths but you should probably have like four you should realistically be zero and four one and four right now with a horrible farm and a really horrible late game like that guy just wasted his all for no reason so like you're playing against people that you can punish and you're un you're not able to punish them I, I respect the dive a little bit of lag there awkward not on my end that's on the recording's end just as you guys know all the lag is not me or you guys it's it's the recording that this guy put up uh i mean i'll take the dive i won't say you played it right i think that was overly aggressive and you're lucky zhong lived or you didn't end up dying uh but you went for it <laughs> you went for it <laughs>
you see that it speeds up right now i should actually be going for that it's mind-blowing to me right now they're all dead and you don't go for their buffs but when they're all alive and you have no health and no mana you run right into them that's uh a little questionable and i don't like it at all uh these are little things like i keep saying little things that are really really important because a hundred little things goes a lot farther than one big play where you get three or four kills and you can't control the other team being in shitty positions or missing abilities and doing the shit they're doing right now so this will not be consistent for you i want i want you to be in a spot where what you're do doing as a jungler or as a player in smite you can do every game and it you don't rely on bullshit you don't rely on circumstance you don't rely on your team to do something for you you also at this point in the game your duo lane all right so your duo lane is punishing the fuck out of them you are your team is up 4k a little bit over 4k you have the tier one tower and left and you have immense pressure start putting spiders on the gold fury and call for objectives that's how you will be that's how you'll be a winner you will become a winner and not just some dude going for a bunch of kills if you do that shit you should be able to notice as a jungler i'm running around the map doing whatever the fuck i want and nobody's even around me hey let's do a free gold fury let's do a free portal demon because you can do portal demon if you build correctly right right about now and you backed and bought you can do portal demon solo with a health pot um i also would recommend more wards you are still sitting on all these health pots for whatever fucking reason uh, more wards and place them aggressively like you had the ward on their speed which is dope deep wards consistently always have their red warded their back right camps warded these can't this camp over here um have both of those warded or have a little bit deeper in the jungle warded all the time the entire fucking game especially when you have a lead and your team is doing something that's keeping the aggression there for you whether it, even if you fall behind and your team has pressure put those wards out there do it safely put those wards out there i literally fucking hate your build I actually fucking hate your build. You just rush kins. So even though you're fat and have a massive lead, you have zero pen. You're going a build that as of right this second relies you relies on you auto attacking a bunch of times. And it's only working because of how bad these players are. I can't stress that enough. That if these players aren't fucking idiots, like a Suzano leveling the he didn't level his only good ability. There's no way you get away with this shit. That's why Arachne is played, even when you do go Kins later in the build, don't ever go at fucking third. Even when you go Kins later in the build, you're still playing for that quick burst, that in and combo with your one, two, three, get like five autos off, kill them and get the fuck out or kill them and reset or kill them and go to the next target. You are not going to sit there and auto attack 15 times in a game. You are going to die. In pleb matches, that shit works. And this isn't me shit talking your rank or whatever. Like, that's not the, the idea of this. I could run auto attack builds in any level of game like this and have 100 kills. That doesn't mean it's good. It doesn't mean you should be doing it. And I promise you, if you learn by doing this shitty build against these shitty players and you ever start to, to get better, your skill increases, you play people that are playing smite the correct way, you will die every engagement because you will get collapsed on. You will not auto attack 20 times if that's what you're going for. You will be irrelevant. That's what a lot of people who come to smite from other games, they get trapped in this idea of like, oh, auto attack gods are OP. No, auto attack gods don't get to auto 8 million fucking times in a real game. I don't even care that you backed with a million gold and bought kins. I still think it was fucking horrible. Like I said, no stone cutting. You're sitting on ninja tabby. You don't have executioner. You rush kin. If you had kins a little, I'm not even going to go there. I like. <laughs> I, I can't see ever where kins is what you want in that situation. I just I can't see it Kins does well with a lot of attack speed and while with your th your two up Which is three auto attacks you get three quick auto attacks The rest of your attack speed isn't pushing to a point where you're getting full value out of that kins in a short enough amount of now of time a short amount Short enough amount of time. I can't speak short enough amount of time. You need to get off six autos in fucking two seconds not six autos in six seconds because you will die sorry i had to harp on that for a while because i this is a very common thing that i see and people just don't respect Enemy it missing. Enemy missing right. okay he doesn't see you <laughs> I, I like how you had the awareness like oh he's here 
Let me prep in case he comes in. If I'm you targeting wise, it's going to be really hard for you to kill a lot of their, their people. So that's one situation where like, if you, once you get Kins and Xe online, you'll be able to kill the front line. I really like that. I really, really like you being able to kill Achilles. Um, Susano, obviously it works out. You're just so far ahead of these kids and they're so bad that you're the game's over. The game is completely over. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead because I don't need to watch you butt pound people for a little while just because of how bad they are. Um, which might have been your idea of this video. I hope it wasn't because your whole early game was rough. Very rough. I'm just skipping them to the end here and we'll make sure you 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 play the push right because right now all you're doing is grouping up and trying to get to a phoenix right that, that's the goal with the fire giant okay they're just super split up none of them are grouped the, the support is chilling by portal demon by himself it's a good good job going for the pick i don't even think you're gonna have to actually really push against these guys Yeah, you guys are just getting every wave pushed in right now. As Arachne, Arachne is amazing at diving on Phoenixes and winning the 1v1. Um, just recognize that. Separating like you did to a different lane from your team and going for a pick into a reset on the Phoenix, meaning kill them onto the Phoenix, back off, and then go back in and get the Phoenix is huge. So I can't stress enough how your abilities were leveled incorrectly, your item build does not make sense and that play style will never work against anybody good i realistically would like goodness gracious i don't know why they're they're going crazy um <laughs> anyway realistically there's no way in hell that what you played against is going to be a consistent like a Susano. I've never seen a Susano not level his one and that guy was level eight hitting you for 70 with his one He wasn't leveling his one. It was it was rank one on his one um, I would like to see I would like to coach a different gameplay because I feel like you sent that because you got a lot of kills But in reality you played poorly and only won because of how bad they were uh, and then I Do think these guys are so bad that you shouldn't be playing against them so if you're stuck at this level of play, that means you probably should might have sh you might have shown me like one of your best games and it was like I said still pretty fucking bad and I would like to see a bad game so we could kind of pinpoint all of the mistakes and not just what you're doing against bad players. That's coaching. A lot of you guys won't be able to take away too much from this. You lower level players should really harp on the things i covered like three main points over and over and over again throughout the game that were very consistent if you aren't doing those things be very happy and uh just keep grinding hopefully you guys like the coaching video if you guys want coaching you just gotta come into the stream uh it's 50 dollars for 30 minutes or more gameplay i coach it put it on youtube if you don't want to pay and you don't want it then you don't want it and you don't have to say anything about it it's great it's just for people that want coaching um yeah like i said Hopefully you like the video hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop a comment uh, and that's that's it later boys and girls and everyone else